Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be just doing a short uh, one in uh, plotting. And it was a particular problem that I came across. And if somebody has a better way of doing it, especially in Excel, I'd love to hear from them, please. So, it's just to do multiple plots on one figure. So, I was looking at this particular problem. I did a screen grab of the uh, Institute of Photogrammetry. And these chaps are investigating uh, classifying different uh, tree types from multi-spectral um, images from a fixed-wing airplane. I've just shown you the, the heading there if you want to go and look it up. And the graph I wanted to recreate was this here. So, but just take a little bit of time to explain the problem. We had three different tree types. Just doesn't matter what they are. A, B and C. And there were seven different ways of classifying each tree type. So the chaps were wondering which was the best classifier. So we had real basis functions, multi layer perceptrons, support vector machines, etc. So for, if we just take a look at the way they did it here. So for uh, type A, that's red. So they plotted that and they had a different marker for each type. And then when you look up the legend here, you can see the circle. Aha, uh -huh, that's KM and roughly the false positive rate is 0.3 and the true positive rate is 0.5. The statistics and the numbers don't really matter. It's just a MATLAB plotting. And say the diamond here uh, corresponds to uh, or whichever one you have. Whichever way, let's find the radial basis function, that's easier to see. So the radial basis function is the symbol plus sign, and then we have, and also in blue radial basis function, so that would be for three type C, that the uh, uh, false positive rate was 8, and the poo true positive rate was about 0.48. So we have three different T types and three different, cla different classifiers and I wanted to recreate in my own bit of work uh, something like this I just wanted to see. So I had a go at it in Excel and as you've mentioned I couldn't figure it out so if somebody has a way that will be great. So I went back to Excel and this is for uh, here we have here a uh, tree type A and here's the, the, the false positive rate and the true positive rate. I looked up uh, some MATLAB uh, online resources and the markers that are available, there they all are. And you, so you can get, and they correspond. I just picked the first six. So I won't get exactly these times. So I get a different marker type and they're all, I'm not going to go through them line by line. I created a figure here. I declared my axis to be 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 because if you don't and you do a scatter plot, MATLAB picks its own axis and things look funny. And then I said hold on. So for hold on is I run the figure and I keep that the active figure so I can keep the next time you know, I plot data or I use the scatter command, I could, that data would be um, placed. So here we all are. So. I'm doing a scatter plot of uh, here, these values, and these values. And each time I go through the loop, I put in a different marker. So I'll put in a 0, an X, a, a plus, uh, a star, an S, and a D. And out here, the comma single quote R is to do them in red. And then I threw up the legend. Then I did tree type B. I have the true positive rate and the false positive rate. I set them back to front. False positive rate is X. True positive rate is Y. Same command as before. Exactly the same command, except obviously uh, we tree type B here. And then for sending the markers, we'll go through marker one, marker two, marker three, four, five, and six. But this here is tree type C exact same as before uh, the false positive rate on the x the true positive rate on the y and this time i'm plotting in blue and hold off then so if i did another graph yeah the next graph would not be sitting on the original graph okay 
and that's it. And there's my plot. Now I got slightly different markers to the ones that was used in that paper, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to get the six different markers up. Okay, so hope that helps. Thanks very much. Bye.